Sonny Liston, I watched him here in the gym a few months ago when he was here to fight Howard King. And he can hit a guy in the elbows and just about break his arm. Now here's a guy who came into the gym and would hit the speed bag so hard that it would come off its hinges. You're looking at one of the most formidable fighters in the entire history of the heavyweight division. This is Sonny Liston, contender for the heavyweight title, in training for his upcoming fight against Cleveland Williams. One look at Liston's huge arms leaves little question as to where he gets his devastating punching power. Even though past performances have shown Liston's opponents rarely go the limit, Sonny is training diligently for this fight to be ready if it should go the full distance. He's always in magnificent shape, and for this upcoming contest, Liston is in the finest condition of his entire career as he prepares to meet his extremely powerful opponent, Cleveland Williams. Here is Sonny Liston to your left, being introduced to a jam-packed Houston audience who have come to see two incomparable punchers slug it out to determine a logical challenger for Floyd Patterson's heavyweight championship. Here is the heavily muscled Cleveland Williams, who has knockout power in either hand. As the two fighters go to the center of the ring for the final instructions from the referee, there is a tremendous excitement all throughout the arena. For everyone knows, this is a contest which either fighter could end with one punch. There's no doubt in anyone's mind that this fight is going to end in a KO. Only the question of which fighter will be standing at the end. That's Cleveland Williams to the right of your screen in black trunks, who has the fantastic record of 37 knockouts in 47 professional prize fights. One of the most extraordinary heavyweight fights in the past 10 years. In the second round of that contest, Williams hit Liston with every punch in the book. Tremendous right hands, jolting left hooks, and while he was noticeably shaken, Liston stood up through it all. Then in round three of that first fight, Liston landed a blistering left hook to the jaw, which put Williams down for the count of ten. Liston weighed in at 210 pounds this afternoon, while Williams scaled 213. It's interesting that these are the identical weights of their previous fight. Neither man has permitted himself the luxury of putting on any excess fat. You'll notice Liston feigning and occasionally sticking out that powerful left jab. He's looking for one opening to drop in that big left hook. Liston is 26 years old and has been a professional fighter for seven years. This is his 28th fight and he's won 27, losing only one decision to Marty Marshall in 1954, which he later reversed by knocking Marshall out in the sixth round. See these two giants exchange strong left jabs. Those punches carry jolting power even though they're merely long lefts. It's apparent that both fighters are content to carefully feel each other out here in round one. These men have great respect for each other's punching power and apparently neither fighter is going to take any unnecessary chances. Watch Sonny miss a tremendous left hook. That's the punch which did the job in their last meeting and it looks like Liston hasn't forgotten. Neither man has an edge in round one as both men scored well with long, powerful lefts to the head. 
As the crowd anxiously waits for round two, there's an atmosphere of tremendous suspense. It was even money this contest wouldn't go four rounds. Such is the respect that the boxing experts had for the punching ability of these two fighters. Everyone knew this fight could be over at the very instant they might look away. Cleveland Williams is 27 years old and has been a professional for nine years. He's the fifth ranking heavyweight in the division and a win over Sonny Liston would definitely put him in line for a crack at the heavyweight championship held by Floyd Patterson. Williams is one of the most imposing looking heavyweights the division has had since the beautifully proportioned Max Bear was seen in this same division 25 years ago. Williams lands a devastating left hook and then a torrent of tremendous punches. Liston is taking them all. Now it's Liston moving in, looking for a chance to end it here in round two. He lands some blistering punches of his own. Williams comes back with three punishing left hooks. Watch Liston come on with a barrage of dynamite punches, trying to end it right here. comes a tremendous overhand right by Liston. Sonny follows it up with a smashing right and left hook to the jaw, which puts Williams down. Cleveland is up at the count of eight, and Liston wants to finish it. He closes in on Williams in the corner and sends in a volley of rights and lefts to the head. Williams goes down for the second time from that barrage of punches. Williams gets to his feet and the referee examines him closely and decides to stop the fight. Liston moves in, but the referee steps between the two fighters and wisely declares a knockout victory for Sonny Liston.